So, now we get a little bit of a touching scene here, I suppose. Yep. So, I guess this is an inner monologue right here. Yeah, I suppose so. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best. I have a or she's got some mental go. problem that causes her to talk out loud all the time. Yep. Shadow, we need you. Please help us. You apparently don't need him that bad. It doesn't appear the it's earth is getting any closer. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, I don't give a shit. There's no way to save it. I fulfilled my duty. Yeah, whatever. For Maria. Shut up and let her talk. Trivial thing. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. She looks so much better in Shadow the Hedgehog. And CGI cutscenes, yes. No, just like in every every way. No, pretty dude. much. No, dude, not not even no no uh, no no you no. Think she looks not. better here. I mean, I mean, okay. In, ter in terms of in terms of CGI, Maria looks better than this Maria in Sonic Adventure 2. However, in game gameplay, in gameplay CGI, in gameplay CGI, she looks fucking horrendous. I don't know about that. This model looks pretty horrendous as is as well. No, no, no. I would no, no, say no. they're at least equal. No, when we when we get done recording this, I will remind you what the hell she looks like. I know okay. what she looks like. My memory is better than yours. No, fuck you. Apparently she loves. Uh, apparently Evan loves aliens. Okay, moving on onward from that. that. It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. I don't think her eye. If you're talking about her eyes, I don't think they're any better in this game than they are in Shadow the Hedgehog. So, I'll agree with you there. Her eyes are out of whack. But I mean more than just the eyes. I don't care about the model in gameplay. I care about the model in the CGI. Oh. Well, of course that's better. CGI was a little better at this stage than in-game models could really be. So... So... Apparently, Space Mountain the Arts has the, um, Shrine of the, for the Master Emerald. And, yep. uh, we have Godzilla's long-lost cousin over here. That joke is so old. I don't care. I'm still gonna use it. Leave this one to me. And Shadow runs up to be a badass. I'm about to be a badass, watch this. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those other things where the game kind of decides to be like, Hey, never done this before, enjoy a few deaths. Yeah. yeah. I believe Johnny, some call me Johnny, touched upon this as well. Mm -hmm. And I'll mention it when we get to the part. His boss is, an all, is also not exactly really forgiving. This part, he doesn't really do anything. Kind of just like chases after you, like, I'm gonna get you. Ah, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, and if you run to the other side, he just chases you with his tail. It's yeah, just easier so to just mosey along there. Yeah. When he does this little breathing bit, you're supposed to grind up this, like a rail, and homie attack that. That's the only part you can attack that does damage for the whole fight. Just heads up. And that's his uh, life support system, I believe. Yep. But apparently he needs one of those since he's big. Well, he sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't see Shadow needing a life support system. <laughs> so he'll shoot these, but you have to jump over and then roll under and then roll under and roll under and jump over and jump over. I always uh, find this part a bit tricky when I was younger. Yep. Basically, just be a bit of a slippery bastard, and you should be good to go. Yeah, and uh, on uh, some generations of 3DS, this boss was uh, more forgiving on the 3DS. Yeah, from what I saw on the 3DS, he was a cakewalk. Yep. Although, I don't know why he was on there. You don't fight him in Sonic. No, not, and that's, that's, and that's the thing that's always confused me, too. It's just like, why is Sonic fighting the Fire Laser? If it was, uh, fucking, uh... Final Hazard, then that, that would make sense, but the Final Hazard... A little, no. but not entirely. Final Hazard would still be a little bit off. Yeah, but I mean... 
I don't know, but... Tis a silly thing. Yeah. So... By the way, don't fall in that crevice. Yeah, if you fall there, you do have a little bit of a chance to jump out, but it will whisk you away off the stage and basically outright kill you. Yep. Which is just weird. Yep. It's a weird hazard to have. Yeah. Uh, the only, the only boss. I've oh, had as he gets weaker, these do pick up on the acceleration and speed department. Yep. So gonna have to be. And then he does this. So he, all these little orbs that he's gonna pull up are gonna try to homing attack you. Basically, you have to homing attack them, and sometimes you gotta be quick because they'll hit you in midair. Yep. And just. And you better yep. pray to God. When you reach the final section of this boss fight, that you have rings on your side. Yeah, if you don't, just keep rings on you no matter what. Yep. Because you're only gonna get one hit. You know, you're only gonna be able to take a hit. You'll see why, you'll see why. Yeah. But, the, I mean, the boss that I've, you know, always liked from Sonic Generation on the 3DS oh. side is the big arm boss from Sonic Generation. He does Sonic seem to feel a bit of pity, pity for you or something, because if you get hit, he stops, which I've never really understood. He's just, he's just like, mm. Oh, just got those in the nick of time. Yeah, when he yeah. does that whole animation, the rings will practically disappear on you. Yeah. Looks like you only need one more hit. Yep, and he's gonna go straight into the orb thing, I believe. Yep, there he goes. This time, he's gonna throw you up in the air, levitate everything around. So now you've gotta maneuver between all these things. Holy crap. And get on here, and then attack. There Not that go. that makes any sense, because it always gives the illusion that you can't stand on it. So, yeah. I guess that's just rocket science. Yeah, Shadow... Project Shadow, I don't know which one's the real ultimate life form and not the prototype, but who gives a crap? Yep. Shadow is way cooler than the uh, Bio Lizard. Yep. And for some odd reason, the PS3 and the Xbox 360 port, this scene has always been dark. I don't know why. Well, we already talked about how the PC port is quite a bit brighter in general. Yeah. This upcoming line that's used right here is actually from Sonic Adventure. Yep, this is the line that Tikal recites. Yep. How Knuckles picked it up is beyond me, but it probably happened sometime in between. I'm gonna tell Mother on you. I'll use your chaos control! <laughs> yeah, because apparently fucking everyone can do this. <laughs> Even the goddamn bio lizard can do it. Since we've stopped the chaos emeralds, why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Cause plot. Yeah. Dead echo though. Yep. Sodomy. Sonic. Yep. And just apparently, they're all just like, oh, clearly the only thing to do here is to just, like, Knuckles is like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, what are you guys doing? Are you just going to stand there all day? What the hell are you doing? And so Shadow, or apparently Sonic, just telepathically tells Shadow that the only possible way to save the day is to use the power of the Chaos Emeralds to go super. By jerking off. You can't tell me by their fucking animations right there. It's like... Yeah, maybe if they were using, you know, both hands, it'd be a little better, but... Yeah. You know, it's probably one of the most lackluster kind of styles of going... So well, actually, no, in both Adventure... Adventure 1 wasn't exactly better either. Sonic no. kind of just held the Chaos Emeralds and stood there. Yep. Alright, well, Sonic's up... Wait, oh, this is Sonic? Yeah, Sh Sonic. Sh Sh no, it's Sonic's so first. Whatever. I don't care. The final hazard. Which apparently is all one word. And this upcoming soundtrack that's used right here is really fucking amazing. This Your guy can actually be a bit of a dick. Your main objective is to aim for the boils. You can press, um, well, in our case, it's X to uh, descend, A to ascend. And, um, uh, they have the. Uh, I think you mean B. No, it's X and A. It's B and A. Right? Nope, it's X and A. Or X2. And in my experimentation, I got hit by that. Yep. 
So the main objective here, ladies and gentlemen, is you want to aim for the boils. Uh, Press A, B, X, whatever to like dash to them or whatever's yeah. going on there. And um, honestly, then uh, if, if you somehow, yeah, if, if somehow you lose your rings, you can you know float to the other side to switch to the other character. Yep. Yeah, these lasers and all these things, uh, they actually get to be pretty dick. And I'm yeah. at, I've never actually hit the five minute mark. Is it like a game over if you Yeah, win? it is. It's, oh. Yeah. I've never seen that. Yep. I've, I've never I've failed actually, so I've, hard. My, <laughs> no, my uh, morbid curiosity got the best of me, and I was just like, hmm, I wonder what actually happens if it does hit the five minute mark. The whole screen becomes fucking red, and uh, yeah, that counts as a uh, lost life. Mm. So, there you go. So, yeah, this is where it becomes absolutely annoying. Yeah. So, but, you're gonna get homing attacked and lasered and what I like, in between. What I like about this uh, final battle is, you know, the dialogue between Sonic and Shao, what they share with each other. You know, it's it's like, you know, they're finally fun. It's like, hey, you know, Shao, you know, Shao is actually the good guy, you know, even though he is supposed to be anti-hero, he's just like, oh, You well, might want to swap. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um... But, um, at any rate, and maybe I can talk better, you know. There you go. But, uh, at any rate, but, uh, no, you know, Shadow and Sonic, Ooh, you know, the... grows a bit, you know, fond of each other. And, you know, Shadow, you know, is like, oh, hey, you know, I think, I, you know, I think I finally know who the ultimate life form is. It's you and all that jazz. And, you know, it's like, it, it, it's, it's moments, a good moment. It's a good moment. It's moments like these that I really enjoy the final battle. Alright, Boyle's right there. Nail it. There yeah. we go. So, the little ending stage or ending boss line changes depending on who finishes off the hit. So in this case, it'll be Sonic. Yep. Shadow says something along the lines of... I don't even remember. Um, I think uh, what he says is... Uh, something about the professor, I believe. Yeah. That he'll stop all the professor's evil creations or whatever. Yeah. And this, this game, and this is the reason why I do enjoy Shadow the Hedgehog as a whole in terms of, you know, characteristics. Uh, well, at this point, anyway. At this point, anyway. Uh, we'll see you in Sonic Girls and Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, they use Chaos Control here to, I guess... Space time warps the colony back to its original orbit, which apparently causes it to lose all of its acceleration and all that. Yep. This is my promise I made to you. And this was a real ball kicker when I was younger, too. Yeah, this was kind of a slap to the face. You're introduced to this character who kind of goes through all this stuff and, you know, eventually ends up proving himself or whatever, and then they just kill him. Yep. It was kind of a. I mean, it's not really the kind of Sonic the Hedgehog feel you expect. No. It's like, oh, hey, here's this new guy. Oh, he's all evil and stuff. You kind of don't like him because he's a dick. Oh, wait, no, he's a good guy. By the way, he's dead. Yep. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I never really understood that, but, you know, at the same time, at the same time, though, I was, you know, I was really satisfied of what I've got in here when I was younger. Yeah, like... this ending is pretty... It's pretty good, and it would have remained good if they stayed with it. But as everybody knows, Shadow isn't really dead. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. Um, any sign of playing Sonic Generations or any of the later games after this, or even glancing at them, will tell you that. Yeah. So this was a good ending at the time. It was kind of a kick to the face because, you know, a lot of people really like Shadow. You know, despite whatever gripes other people may have had about him. And this story as a whole wasn't too bad. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't too bad. And I think this is, this ending tied it all together pretty nicely. Yeah. Especially with everyone kind of, you know, especially Tails and Eggman here. F um, fun fact here. Uh, they've cut they've cut an extra line between these two. Well, after this, after Tails says that. Then Eggman's like, you're right, but after this, I'm gonna, st I'm still gonna be controlling the, the planet, and Tails like, bring it on, something like that. So, yep. I don't know, but, um... Nah, I think it would've been nice to get in there. Yeah. 
So we get a touching uh, moment between Knuckles and Rouge, the bad yep. guy. Yep. It'll all work out. You'll see. If you say so. This part just, you know, with the music piece, with the music piece that plays right here, and with everything else that's Let happening roll. between. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Dude, the Comment light on it is after. cool and blue as me. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. That always got me. Ah, uh, that's always a kick to the gut. Yep. Yeah. That was pretty big for me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. With the piano piece, you know, that ties yeah. in with all the characters together, what interacts between Flying them. Flying nicely and all that. It, 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 it does really end on a good note right there. Yep. And then it gets ruined later. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I love Live and Learn... Well, no, not, a... not not by Live and Learn, by like all the other games that oh, kind of yeah. just like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that is that pretty nice like emotional note you ended Sonic Adventure 2 on. By the way, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Another game is in progress. It won't yeah. be released until like 2003 or 2004. But there's Sonic Heroes. And Shadow's back, by the way, just to say screw you. Yeah, I, oh, I've always been so confused about that, but th at the same time. I was like really happy because, oh look, another 3D Sonic the Hedgehog game, I wonder how this is going to turn out. Yeah, he never definitely dies, and I understand that, they don't really necessarily say, oh he's dead, mm -hmm. but... But, I mean, people that, you know, played this game and then just dropped it all together, they're, they're going to assume that, that, that he's dead. Well, yeah. And, uh, and of course, after this game, what they did with this character was kind of just terrible. I mean, Shadow the Hedgehog wasn't that bad of a game, but it was just so many just different things that didn't end up mattering anyway. And yeah. then and then they just they gave him the exact same character development that they did here. Yep. Like I mean, it's not exactly spoiler, but at the end of Shadow the Hedgehog, he ends up proving himself again. And it's just like how many times is Shadow going to prove himself for no, he does the same thing in Sonic 06. And this is, and this is a reason why, you know, it, it, this is one of the many reasons why I don't, you know, like Shadow as a character in later games. If if you were to ask me, you know, when have I ever liked Shadow the Hedgehog? Yeah, ending screen, though. It's, it's going to be this one. It's going to be this game right here. And I really do love this ending screen. So that's Sonic Adventure 2, and there's a whole bunch of extra stuff that we can go run around and do, but for the sake of time and the fact that this is just a playthrough and not exactly a 100%, you'll have to check out, I think you've got a 100 no, you don't have a 100 do you have a 100 I have a 100% uh, playthrough on my PS3 copy. But, oh, I meant uh, recorded. Oh, recorded? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, well, somebody on YouTube's got it, I can assure you that. So, you can probably look it up if you need some hints, tips, tricks, whatever. So, but with that, I guess that's a wrap up. That is gonna be that is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the PC, Xbox 360, and PS3. Uh, it's everywhere now, so if you haven't picked up the game and played it, you Somehow. should you should probably do that. It's pretty fantastic, and yeah, there's multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, honestly, to to finish this off, I don't understand why why are the stars there. It's, I think it's not it, in the game. Is it? No, it's, it's not. not. Mm. They're never there. Oh, well, anyway. They have absolutely no purpose. Anyway, that's all. Sonic Adventure 2, ladies and gentlemen. You all have a nice night, day, evening, whatever's going on. Take care. And you all have yourselves a good day. Happy gaming, my friends.